be talking about lever systems. Uh, there are actually three different types of lever systems in the body. First class, second class, and third class lever systems. Now why might somebody want to know about lever systems? Well, if you're interested in kinesiology or the study of human movement, you're involved in human performance, movement science, even anatomy and physiology, chances are somewhere along the way you'll talk about lever systems. When we talk about lever, we're referring to bones. As an example, if we talk about the radius, here in the forearm, the ulna, and then we talk about the humerus. Where those three bones or where those three levers come together, here's the first component of the lever system called the fulcrum. So, lever system has, as one component, the fulcrum. And the fulcrum is actually where those levers come together to form what we probably commonly know as the joint. So in this case, we've got radius, ulna, humerus come together to form the elbow joint, or in this case, elbow fulcrum. Another component of a lever system, no matter which class you're referring to, would be the resistance. The resistance. And the resistance in this case could be sometimes referred to as being the load. So you might have heard in some places, some instruction or some textbook you've read, where the resistance is basically the load. So as an example, if you can imagine I have a 15-pound dumbbell lying here on this table and I decide, well, I'm going to pick that dumbbell up and I'm going to perform an elbow curl or I'm going to perform a bicep curl. So I flex my elbow, in other words, decreasing this joint angle, when I flex the elbow, I know that I have to have enough strength, enough force generated by the muscles okay, in this area that I can overcome this resistance of this 15-pound dumbbell or this load. Well, the other, okay, component of a lever system is going to be the effort. Now, the effort sometimes gets confused in people's minds because when we talk about effort, we're really looking at the muscles that, when they contract, will cause movement at the fulcrum. And we're looking specifically, however, at the insertion or the muscle attachment. So, as an example, in this bicep curl, when I'm referring to the biceps brachii, this anterior arm muscle, it will insert or it will attach down here at the radial tuberosity. So it actually crosses, this muscle will cross the fulcrum or the elbow joint, and we know when that muscle contracts, it will allow us to go into this movement we call elbow flexion or doing a bicep curl from a practical perspective. Now, that insertion, okay, again, of the biceps brachii would be referred to as the effort that the muscle actually has on this bony system. So effort is always in your mind, you have to remember, it's muscle insertion. Now, every class lever system has these three components, fulcrum, resistance, effort. They're just in different orders depending on the class of the system you're referring to. Since the third class lever system is the most common of those systems in our body, that's the one I'm really going to give you some examples about. So, let's go back to picking up the dumbbell, performing a bicep curl. Again, elbow is going to be referred to as the fulcrum in a lever system. Resistance is this imaginary dumbbell that I have that I'm lifting, or resistance or load. So, I've got F, fulcrum, and then here's the R. And then in between those, we've got the effort. As you'll recall, I said the biceps brachii will insert here on the radial tuberosity. And in doing so, then we get the order of a third class lever system, which is fulcrum, effort, resistance. Now, there are other examples, probably again, that would be common to those of us that are of a practical perspective. Um, you might have done, I'm sure, a leg extension exercise. So you go to where you have all your Cybex equipment or whatever kind of equipment you have, and you say, I'm going to work on my quadriceps muscles to strengthen them. You sit down on the leg extension machine, you've got an imaginary weight stack here, maybe you pin it in, you got 100 pounds. You know also, okay, that you're going to have a pad, okay, from that machine sitting on the anterior aspect of your ankles. And so when you execute one of those repetitions of that leg extension, you're going to lift your feet up or lift your legs such that your legs are going to be extended. Now, we know in that case that is another demonstration of a third class lever system. The knee is going to be the fulcrum. This quadriceps femoris muscle group, the anterior thigh group, will insert down here on our tibial tuberosity, this bump of bone projecting off the tibia. So we've got then fulcrum, the knee joint, effort, 
okay? And finally down here, of course, the load, as demonstrated by, the, when I extend my legs, that weight stack goes up because I've got those pads sitting on front of my ankles. So here again, fulcrum, effort, resistance. Third class lever system. The final one I just want to, you know, think about or suggest to you is that sometimes in some gyms, they'll have a leg curl machine. Now in the day, okay, when I was growing up, we always had those in a, uh, where I would lie down. So I'd be lying prone and I would be curling my legs. In this day and age, it's very common to see in a situation, a, a gym, where you'll have your legs in an extended position or knees in an extended position to begin with. Here again is a weight stack, you pin it in. I would pin it 100 pounds this time, maybe uh, 50 or something. Um, and you'll find that the padding is here on the, as on the posterior aspect of the, uh, the legs or the ankles. And so in reality, when I execute this exercise to curl, I'm going to bring my heels to my butt. And by so doing, I bring my heels to my butt. Again, demonstrating resistance is down here at the ankle. The hamstrings is the muscle group that's supplying that effort. So let's think about these hamstrings muscles. These are muscles, of course, on the posterior aspect of the thigh. They insert down here, respectively, on the fibular head and the medial aspect of the tibia. All right, and so we've got, again, resistance, then we've got the muscle insertion, which is the effort, and finally, here's the joint, or the fulcrum. So again, we've got F, E, R. The other demonstration, or another demonstration of the third class lever system. Now, in some cases, some of you might have to have a test question that says, well, what's the order of components for a first class lever system? Or what's the order of components for a second class? Or how do I remember the which one of this fulcrum resistance effort comes in what order in a third class lever system? Well, I'll give you a little bit of a hint, perhaps you know this one, about how you can remember that. The order of these lever systems as far as their class or the components. So, what I usually suggest is that somebody would go ahead and write on the board or write on a piece of paper first, second, and then third. And what you would do is you would put the word free minus an E, <laughs> free underneath. What this demonstrates, a first class lever system has as its middle component the fulcrum. A second class lever system has as its middle component the resistance. And finally, there's the third class. It has as its middle component the effort. So if you had to give, okay, what's the order of components in a first class lever system? I'm going to put the F here in the middle, and then I can take either one of these letters and put them on either side of the F. So a first class lever system is always going to have the effort, or the muscle's insertion, then the fulcrum, or the joint, and then here's the resistance or the load. Second class, R is in the middle, or resistance in the middle, and then you can choose, put F in the front if you like, okay, and E at the end. So second class lever system, you always have the fulcrum first, then the resistance, and then that effort as applied by the muscle's insertion. And finally, of course, we've gone through this. The third class lever system, the most common lever systems, I gave you three demonstrations, the bicep curl, leg extension, leg curl, demonstration of third class lever system. There are always components of F or fulcrum, E for effort or muscle insertion, and R, resistance 